Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avon Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the 2020 LibTech Orca. This board is available in three sizes, 147, 153, and 159. This board features LibTech C2X camber profile, which is a mellow reverse camber between the feet with a longer camber section underfoot. So basically, you got reverse between the feet, camber underfoot, so you got play between the feet, but snap and pop from each independent camber zone. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on a day that was overcast, super windy, I mean, like, visibility was shit, and it was cold. Now, they'd gotten about two inches of snow, but the way the wind was blowing, if you knew where to go, you were getting into knee-deep fresh powder. So that's what I did. I went after the knee-deep fresh powder. I rode these with my K2 Indies and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board comes in with one of those classic middle-of-the-road directional free ride flexes. So you got a little bit softer nose and it progressively stiffens up through the tail. There's a fair amount of torsional flex so you can really twist and drive this board. Now, overall, this board is stable for charging through chunder, bumps, ruts, icy moguls of death, shit like that. The nose actually absorbs that chatter so it doesn't resonate back underfoot, and that stiffer tail really lets you push out of anything in its path. So let's talk about the pop of this board. You've got this abrupt up kick right back here in the tail, and you've got independent camera zones. So when you load up off that back foot and really engage that abrupt up kick, it will snap and pop. It takes a little bit more work than other boards that have a similar camber profile to this, but it gets the job done. It's very easy to engage. You're not gonna find yourself fighting it or trying to just load up to get over anything in your path. With the way the shape is on this board, you've got a nose that's like a spatula, so if you get your weight way out over it, you'll engage that sweet spot for doing pow butters. You really have to be out there with your weight, though. I'm talking almost all the way over the nose. But once you do, it's gonna lock in, you can play around, and it's gonna have snap and response and spring you right back out if you're spinning around doing butters. The tail, it's a little stiffer. It takes a little more work, but with that abrupt up kick, you can find yourself just doing really big wheelies into pow with it, maybe popping a 180 out like that, landing on the nose, pressing that butter in, popping right back out, and getting on your way. So how does the Orca carve? It carves exceptionally well. That magnet traction grips and keeps you locked in, but you don't feel that you're a slave to it, that you're just gonna be stuck in there with it. Now, if you wanna rip short, tight, quick turns, Go for it. Long drawn out hard carbs, go for it. This board will grip when you need it to and drive. And that stiffer tail with that abrupt up kick, you can really push into it and get yourself to slingshot out of turns. All right, so in 2019, the Orca was super hyped and it had 100% sell through or so I'm told. I don't really pay attention to those facts and figures. How's it gonna sell for 2020? Probably the exact same in my opinion. This board lives up to the hype that I've seen behind it. It's actually worked its way up into my top fives. So if you've seen the top fives on volume shifted powder boards, then you know that this board is gonna be in that list for 2020. This board is solid. It's like a cross between the Yes Optimistic and the Telos Backslash. You put those two together and this is basically what you get. You've got a unique shape, that's really good for floating. And in all honesty, I would love to ride this in a true twin for park because it was just that much fucking fun. Yeah, I took it through the park on a powder day. Sue me, whatever. This board is great. Like the design, the geometry, everything in it completely works. So if you understand short and wide and you want something that's got magnet traction, C2X camber, this is it, like this is solid. It's great in trees, it's great in wide open pow. It was fun on the death chunder shit that I was riding that was windscreen. And it was solid in the knee to mid thigh deep snow that I was getting into in the steeper stuff. This board was very well balanced. Comparable boards, the Telos Backslash, the Yes Optimistic, the Weston Backwoods, 
This has been my review of the LibTech Orca. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this board because it's fucking awesome. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell. That way you're not missing out on any of the notifications or when we've got a video coming out. And if you'd really like to support us, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I would suggest the sticker club tier. That way you get stickers in the mail every month for seven bucks. Who doesn't like free stickers? As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.